On the night of October 31st, 1570, an Augustinian monk tacked a piece of paper to the door of a church in Wittenberg, Germany. On it were 95 questions about the nature of salvation, refuting the sale of indulgences. The door functioned as a kind of bulletin board for scholastic discussion, and he hoped to generate some dialogue among his colleagues. This hardly seemed like the start of a revolution, but Martin Luther was in the right place at the right time. His actions set in motion a chain of events few could have imagined. It would change Christianity forever. There had been countless calls for reform, but Luther had one weapon at his disposal that previous reformers did not have, the printing press. His 95 Theses quickly became the world's first bestseller, its author the most beloved and reviled man in all of Europe. The Catholic Church was largely unprepared for the Reformation. The swiftness with which people abandoned her authority revealed the depth of resentment that had been simmering for generations. Zwingli brought the Reformation to Zurich, Switzerland, followed by John Calvin, who taught that it was not only the church that needed reform, but society and politics as well. In contrast, the Anabaptists rejected any alliance of church and state they were severely persecuted by both Protestants and Catholics and almost entirely wiped out. King Henry VIII broke away from Rome, creating the Church of England, from which come the Anglican and Episcopal denominations. When the Catholic and Orthodox churches split in the 11th century, they were already divided geographically, not so with the Protestant Reformation. As a result, a hundred years of religious wars followed the Reformation. Thank you.